Hi all. In this video, I am going to show you the Tipco Business Studio and briefs about it. Tipco Business Studio is the IDE which is used for the Tipco Active Matrix Business Works coding and debugging. And Tipco Business Studio will based on the Eclipse. Tip Business Studio can be accessed from the folder installation folder Studio 3.6 and Eclipse. If you double click on this exe, it will open the business works business studio and for initially it will ask for the workspace you need to be the workspace like if you don't have any workspace created you can give the empty folder name and click on ok then it will load all the resources dependency resources which are required for the business studio to run then it opens the our project like this is the business studio which will be used for Actimatrix business works and you can see different toolbars and different windows one is for project explorer and one another one is for file explorer modules other stuff and another one is here you can see properties and problems related to the our application and here in project explorer we can create a application application bw application like consists of application module and shade module uh, application module and shade module can be added in two ways once you right click here you will get option new and here you can see business works application module and shade module or application another way is here in the toolbar you can see create a new business works application module or create a new business works shade module or uh, here you can see create a new business works application so we will be creating the application module over here so here initially we need to give the project name project name I will give it as demo and it will take the default version as 1.0.0 anytime if you want to change the version of major version or minor version you can change the version from the um, backend manifest files ok and it will create a uh, default application and if you manage, it will show you the folders which will be created with the application module these are the folders will be created and if you can finish it will create a so now this application has been created and this application can be accessed application module or the application can be accessed from the project explorer and here this file explorer is used to see the files in our folders by default it will open the files present under samples bw 6.2 samples and this can be used like if you want to put the this xml file from file explorer to our project or if you want to save any files from our project to our file explorer folder you can simply drag and drop now i will show you this bw xml i will drag and drop to the schemas folder so now here i can see bw.xml has been created over here and here in module tab you can see the job shade variables and module properties module shade variables all those details you can see over here uh, we didn't created any job shared variables or module shared variables so you cannot change variables here in module properties by default there will be properties for our local host names and uh, some app space names app node names so you can see those properties and you cannot see any user module properties because we have not created it and in these tabs you can see the properties of any process or whichever process we will click on it you can see the properties and console will show you when you run the debug and bw help it will show you the help and problems will show you what are the errors present in the project or application these tabs can be arranged however are required if you double click on this pro properties tab it will uh, expand maximize it and when once you double click it will be minimize it again and you can take the property step to this window and here you can see the problems and here you can see the property step all those details and if you want it to arrange back you can arrange it like this and you can divide it like this as well and you can see the details by side by side and you can put it here by default in if you close this property step and you can open it from here windows open perspective search and this properties so here you can open right so see now these problems went up right now if you want to take it back you can drag and drop over here and you can here also you can divide the windows 
side by side and if you want to combine it back and you can put it like this all the like we can arrange the business studio however we want it like it based on our comfort and uh, here you can see the palette libraries so palettes and palette libraries if you click on any palette library it will show you the palettes sub palettes which are available for the palette library so in palettes can be added to our project in three ways first one is you, know, you have to select the uh, palette over here and drag, and drag and drop on the process so here palette has been added and second way is right click on the process and then go to add activity and select any palette which are is required and select it over here so this is the second way of uh, adding your palette so and third way when you select any activity you can see the plus symbol drag to create a new activity when you drag and drop this right it will show you the activities available and you can select the activity any activity which you want right and uh, transaction transitions can be uh, taken from here when you select any activity it will show you the remote track to create transition between activities and we can drag and drop so transition will be created and uh, this is the one the one which we are seeing now is a design perspective if you want to take the debug perspective you can select the debug perspective from here so it will open the debug perspective and here it will show what are the debugs happening and what are the business work jobs and what are the servers available for us and variables, breakpoints and when you run any process here you can see the process flow and deployment servers if we add any deployment servers you can see the deployment servers over here all those details can be seen here and if you want any other perspectives like database perspective you can open it from here like database development, java perspectives, xml all those perspectives can be opened here and this is the overview of the business studio Thank, thanks for watching my video.